This particular 3D printer uh, is by my friend's own design. It uses uh, a plastic uh, filament which uh, is as strong as the plastic used in Lego blocks. So this is extremely strong. It also allows them to be really accurate as well. So the actual print resolution uh, that he's able to get out of his uh, 3D printer can not only create a, a perfect uh, spit, but it's also uh, good enough to uh, create a usable uh, screw and bolt uh, thread as well. So it's really accurate down to um, less, less than a millimeter. Um, so, and he's able to get perfect curves with uh, text uh, on uh, products. Uh, there's no sharp edges. And as I say, it's really strong. And the measurements that he's able to get out of it are very accurate as well. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Firstly, I just want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to this channel. I've, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really thrilled about it, so thank you. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Um, as everyone who's been following uh, the channel so far knows, I love shooting with my Leica rangefinders. And anyone else who shoots with Leica rangefinders would probably agree they can be a little bit awkward to hold on to from time to time. Uh, particularly the M240, it's uh, got a fair bit of weight to it and uh, particularly if you've been out on a warm day taking a lot of shots, your hands get a little bit sweaty, holding on to the camera can be a bit hard. Which is why I've started to uh, look pretty seriously at Leica's uh, hand grips. The problem with the hand grips though is, well, you sort of have to get one depending for each camera. So I'd have to buy one for the MP, one for the 240, and then if I upgraded to an M10 or an M11, which is what I'm really holding out for in uh, the future, I'd have to buy the grip again. Okay, I don't really want to do that. Plus, uh, the price for the grips is putting me off uh, quite a lot. So it's why I decided to look at some other options. And it's why I've ended up with a 3D printed Leica hand grip um, by, well, it's not a Leica product. Um, the beautiful thing about Leica is because they're so simple, measuring them up for your own um, custom or uh, made to order accessories is actually pretty easy. Um, and what I've got here is a very strong um, plastic uh, hand grip. It's actually been uh, measured up and molded uh, for the, both my MP and the slightly fatter uh, MP240 uh, and my hand. So it actually uh, fits me and my cameras perfectly, better than uh, any other uh, option out there. How did I get it? Well, I've got a friend who's an engineer and uh, he has his own uh, 3D printer. So by getting a few measurements uh, from me, uh, he drew up the engineering uh, drawing, I checked it off, and uh, lo and behold, uh, he just set his uh, 3D printer off to uh, print this uh, brilliant hand grip uh, for me. We designed it in a way that it's actually got a tripod mount, and uh, with the accuracy of his uh, particular 3D printer, um, which is actually a unit by his own design and his own uh, making. Uh, we've got a proper uh, screw thread in there for a tripod. I've uh, got uh, two bolts uh, in here which are uh, removable. One which um, fits uh, the MP and the other one which uh, fits uh, the MP240. Uh, so, to show it off, It fits on the camera like a glove, and uh, by its uh, design, it's just locked into uh, place. I can uh, hold the camera uh, with this, no problems. It's actually really comfortable. It's more comfortable than just uh, holding uh, the camera, and it uh, suits um, my hand and my fingers perfectly, which is why I love it. You know, thinking about 3D printing technology, I think it is actually the way of uh, the future, not well, really, for lots of things. Uh, I guess for us as photographers, it could be a great way to get that um, elusive accessory, um, such as a grip or uh, something else, or maybe a tripod uh, head uh, that we just can't get 
um, from uh, the stores easily or um, cheaply. But I think that for a lot of uh, technologies, 3D printing is really going to come into its own. I reckon there will become a time when instead of actually going out to shop for a physical uh, good, we could uh, cruise online, find either an open source 3D uh, file of a product uh, that we might want. Uh, it could be a cup, plate, whatever. Um, or the, we might want to uh, buy a more advanced or um, uh, more beautifully aesthetic uh, version. Uh, and then we could actually print it at home with uh, our own uh, 3D printers. I really do think that 3D printing technology is the way of the future. Could you imagine, um, say, having your own completely personalized mobile phone uh, case, uh, just for you, that's been 3D printed, that you could uh, go online, order the 3D file, and then print at home? I just say there's probably even a website out there that already uh, does something like that. So 3D printing, I reckon, is uh, the future because I reckon uh, there will come a time when we're going online just to buy the 3D files of products that we want to have and we make them up and, and we print them up at home uh, to our own colours or the, even with our own adjustments. Because I guess when you think about it, I mean now it's 2017. If you say just think maybe 20 years ago, 1997, uh, I don't think DVDs were mainstream at that time. I think that was kind of what, 1998, 1999? But in 1997, your music was on CDs. Uh, home CD burners weren't really around. And your movies were on VHS cassettes. And if you wanted to rent a movie, you'd go down to uh, your local uh, video store. Uh, if you wanted music, you'd go shopping uh, for music, uh, either um, on cassette or on CD. If you had said to someone in 1997, hey, in 20 years time, you'll be able just to press a button on your smart TV or your Apple TV, and you'll be able to stream whatever movie uh, you want. You won't have to get off of uh, your couch. Or you'll be able to say to a smart speaker, hey, order me my favorite uh, pizza, and then it jumps online to Domino's website and uh, orders uh, you your pizza and then it suddenly arrives uh, or that you'd be able to jump onto a piece of software called iTunes and uh, buy your favorite music or you'd be able to uh, use something like um, Spotify or Apple Music uh, just to listen to your favorite uh, music or listen to a new album whenever you wanted in um, a Walkman uh, that uh, also doubled as a fruit, as a portable movie player, web browser, uh, and a mobile phone, all, all in one. You know, they'd look at you pretty strangely. So I really do think that 3D printing is kind of going to be in the next big thing in technology. And I'm, I think getting back to photography, there will come a time when if we want to have, say, uh, our own custom designed hood or if we want to have our own viewfinder extender tripod mount grip whatever we're just going to be able to do it and that's not just going to be for Leica that's uh, going to be for any uh, manufacturer so yeah let's um, look forward to a great future